All right. Events in the last 24 hours have already kick-started what a lot of you have been waiting to see. We have not also heard from them, from the organizing team, since yesterday. But I'm also sure you already know what is going on on the ground. The happen stance of yesterday, wherein Sunday Igbo led indigents to go and send a strong message, also sent a very serious threat to governor of the state. For a moment, Sunday Igbo has told Sheyi Makinde by the action of yesterday that he is not in charge of security of the state. That is not also in charge as authority in the state. That you asked me not to come, but I am here, I gave ultimatum, and I am acting according to what I said. He's simply saying, the, telling the governor that, oh yeah, exercise your authority. And you do not expect anybody in power like that, as you know their attitude, to fold their hands and look. We have already also seen responses from the authorities, not only in Oyo State. You have also heard from the IG. Now, there's a reason I said he must now hibernate. By saying he should hibernate, I do not mean he should disappear. I mean he should now not make the struggle to be about himself. And the struggle also must not stop. There is a particular pattern with this kind of struggles from my own little experience. So, don't say Sunday ago is different from Shore. Shore did not abandon. Shore is still facing them. He did not run away. So, if you want to mention an example of people who run away, don't put Shore in that kind of context. Shore is a strong man. Yeah, he may not have crowd. You may not support him because he doesn't do it the way you like. But for him to still be standing, I respect him. The same respect I have for Sunday ago, but there's a pattern. And if we don't learn from history, if we don't learn from history, we will repeat the same mistakes. Shore is not perfect, he has his mistakes too. So when we learn from a particular pattern, we must improve on it every time. So let me come back to Sunday ago. That is to correct that person who says Sunday ago is not Shore. Respect Shore any day. Don't call that name anyhow. That's a God there. That is somebody standing to do what many of our own fathers, our ancestors, shied away from. This is a class struggle. Class struggle. Somebody fighting for equality. That poor people, children of nobody, must not suffer. You think it's easy? Anyways, I digressed. There's a pattern. And the pattern is that Every time that they, they always go after the shepherd, they always isolate the person spearheading it. Once they isolate the person, they distract your attention from the main matter. And what is the main matter in this case? And I'll make example of revolution now again. After that Shore was arrested. They started dragging the issues, bringing up, you know, Trump up charges and all the rest. So that they distracted us from the five demands of revolution now. They distracted us completely. They stripped him, started prom promoting propagandas against him. Like the way they will start doing against Sunday, but as I speak with you right now, they are already filing charges. They are going back to look for how many places has he dislodged people in the past. They want to charge him as land grabber. Go and write it down. 
they have already started filing charges against Odi Buhu. They will charge him with arson for committing arson, burning Sedeki's house. Arson, they will charge him for that. They will charge him for land grabbing. They will even go and look for some persons who he dated in the past that they are no longer in good terms and ask those ones to come up with conspiracy of rape. Go and write it down. No, go, just go and write it down. And the moment they start that, they will distract us from insecurity issue that we are, you know, all clamoring against. Invaders and all the rest. They will distract us from the main issues. So they will distract all of us from the main issues. And make us to start concentrating on free Sunday go, free Sunday go, free Sunday go. Like we are no longer shouting the demand, we are no longer clamoring for the five demands of revolution now. We are now on free showore. They have distracted us. They have distracted us completely. Which is why I am saying there is need now. Sunday go has already ignited this thing and once he has ignited it the thing must continue but for him for for it to continue it must no longer be about him it must now be about everybody coming out to say yes the issues are the issues don't distract us but the moment they pick the shepherd they distract everybody which is why I said, let's, let's stop making the issue about the person who leads the church. If need be, it should quietly hibernate while the agitation continues. He must now begin to replicate himself in many other people. Let there be other people who are speaking, who are leading. The struggle does not stop, even though he's not showing up again. Because the moment they pick him, they distract everybody. So you change your demand from no more this, no more that, they change it to free Sunday Bo, and that's the end. So there's a pattern you must now begin to avoid from history of struggles. Having said that, let us come to what it is because this is, that's why I mentioned veteran comrades who understand these issues from history down here that this issue is not about tribe and I'm going to give you an example it's not about tribe so we should at this point hmm, stop making it look like we are all against the house of Fulani we have listened to Fulani persons who are in support of people host, people of host communities Mm? dislodging strangers who are perpetrating crimes in their land. We have read from Fulani persons saying that. We have also read from people in the north. So if you think the north is the problem, the north is not the problem. Let me remind you a particular famous statement which you did not give the interpretation of the depth of meaning it actually has. Who is credited with this statement? Where are the cows? Does it ring bell? Oh, I've forgotten the name. But let me tell you that Miyeti Hala is just an umbrella name for the association of big investors into the cow business. The cow business is a very big business in Nigeria. It is not run by poor people. And it is not run by a tribe. It is run by big patrons. It is run by big patriots. It's not a tribe issue. And I've always said it many times. It's a class struggle. The same way there are poor Yorubas that are working, but federal government will refuse to pay them well. Hmm? Federal government will refuse to pay them, even to pay 30,000 a minimum, which is a problem. The same way eh, is the same way there are so many is the same way there are so many poor people in the north. The same way there are so many out of school children in here, 
in the southwest it's also the same reason there are so many out of school children so when they employ you and they refuse to pay you well but increase all cost of uh, they have shared all these industries among themselves they only have class they don't have tribe telecos telecommunication industry they give it to certain people they are together cement monopoly one person you forget the tribe they, they know themselves who is controlling the biggest uh, telecommunication industry in Nigeria? I see, is he a full animal? They share all these the people who are buying the discos and you know, who pri they privatized and bought it. They will not pay you well because they want you to remain poor. Oil and everything, God bless you. They share it among themselves, and they will refuse to pay you well so that you can remain poor. The same thing is happening in the north. Now, those who are paying big money into the who are patronizing the Mieti Allah? Who are patrons of this business? Are billionaires? Their children, the people buying these cars and giving to these poor children to go to be grazing them up and down. Are good people, though? And they are in all tribes. You think they are giving them land for no reason to say, we are come and graze in the Southwest? You think they don't know what they are doing? They are, they are big patrons in that business, but they use the poor people to do it. Their own children are abroad. The people who own those cows that you see, their children are abroad. Where do you think they got those AK-47 they are using to protect themselves from? It is the owners. It is the owners. They give them, say, protect yourself, protect my investments. And they are not all northerners. Watch it happen. That the people who will defend this business with the whole of their lives, with the whole of their hearts, are largely Yorubas. I won't mention names, but go and look, go and search for the information. They are quiet and silent sponsors into this business. Forget that the word Mieti Allah sounds northern or sounds Fulani or sounds outside. Forget it too. It's a camouflage. It's a class struggle. They use the poor outside boys to be people who have no who have no livelihood, who have no anything, they just put them, oh yeah, take gun, take stick, take this, oh yeah. Their own children will be abroad. They are using them to this, do these petty businesses. And they give them everything to handle. So, well, where do you think they got it from? Now, what I saw yesterday, which I've been warning against for a very long time, so that this thing does not degenerate, because they are happy that you are pushing the ethnic agenda. Because that is also the biggest distraction. Is that you let poor people of Yoruba land to go and confront the poor people they are using to graze cow from the north. That's what, you, that's what we have just done. The poor people of Yoruba are led to go and confront, to go and fight the poor nomads or the poor herders that are being used by the rich people invested into the business to do the business. So it is, it is still the poor people versus the poor people. Yeah, they can use some ethnic division or coloration to make it look like it's not an ethnic issue. It's a class issue. It's a class issue. They don't want you... See, at the end of the day, hmm, I have warned yesterday, let us all... Hmm, if we truly want to fight this war, let us fight against those people who have deliberately improvised millions of Nigerians just so that they can continue to wear their white and free Nagbada everywhere and oppressing people. You will see that you will not see the ethnic problem will just disappear. So if you want invaders to leave your land, hmm, deal with poverty you will see that nobody actually wants to live in the forest so you are leading poor yorubas to go and confront poor houses is a is a class problem and those people you think you are fighting are smiling the people you think you are fighting they are actually smiling and they are in your tribe At the end of the day, all of them will still regroup and say, say that's on the oh yeah, do this. They are strategizing, they are listing what to use to isolate in current as we speak. 
and they want to distract us again. They will pick him up and they will change our demand to free Sunday Igbohu. That's the end. And the business will continue. Because the person you think is leading it, hmm? the person you think is leading it has been isolated. So what more? Everybody relax. You continue your rants. So it is time to make everybody hmm, wear that orientation and toga that all of us are on this. All of us are on this. It should not be only about Sunday, but let others start showing up and leading it, not only Sunday, so that they cannot isolate him alone and make us forget the struggle. This is a struggle against class oppression. It is long. They always make us change the coloration, okay? They always make us change the coloration, make it look like today it is like, you know, make us make it look like it is ethnic issue today. Tomorrow make it look like it is NSAS, then it is police issue. Next time make it look like it is civil defense. That is the problem. The next one make it look like... But at the end of the day, hmm, you will never see this oppressive class, oppressive ruling or elite class fight themselves. It is always the poor people that are being, you know, used against against themselves so which is why i believe that all these energies hmm, all these energies should not be misdirected again because we'll be getting it wrong again if all these energies are misdirected we have been misdirecting our energy for so long misdirecting the energy always making it look like now, let me tell you what they have already started doing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Because I saw the same thing they did with when Two Face wanted to lead the struggle then. When he wanted to lead that popular protest that he chickened out, according to the report, that he chickened out. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. They called the governor that sponsored this wedding at Dubai. They call the governor who sponsored him and bought him Prado and all. They call the governor, yeah, say, call your boy to order. Uh -huh. Because if he doesn't do it, mm, they will start go, using the FCC to go after the businesses of the person they see as the main sponsor. Now, yesterday they already started bringing up issues that is not already in the fall. What is the issue they are bringing? That was it Ladoja they called the name as the godfather of Sunday Boho? Okay, so they started looking at who are the people who empowered this man, who are the people who made him what he is. What are so they are looking at cases they want to bring up against him already land grabber, uh, this azonist, terrorist, or they want to start bringing all those matters up, and it will be another distraction. So, if you think it is not rather political, it is political. Because at the end of the day, those top shots will start calling themselves. They are called that man, so that should be you want the moju are calling. And that's way, the moment he starts saying, eh, "We have made our statement. That is it. Let everybody live in peace." Pa, matter goes down. Which is why I said it is important to don't make the struggle be about one person. Don't make it be about one person. All the organizers should now start identifying. Potential leaders among the existing followers. Start identifying potential leaders so that it is not only Sunday Boho that is leading it. Because the moment they isolate him, they will change the direction of your demands. And it will now be free Sunday Boho, free Sunday Boho, and that's the end. Do you understand what I'm saying? I dispute grammar. Uh, it's just a matter of a few days. And uh, gentlemen and ladies, somebody advised I should be reading comments. Okay, let me read comments. Full animals go. Hey, full animals go. I don't understand what you're saying. Who are doing this kidnapping, the killings, enough from this full animal? Excuse me. The other time, uh, Evans was arrested for kidnapping. Hmm? The other time Evans was arrested. 
for kidnapping. Everybody say, hey, the Igbos are kidnappers in this country. You ethnicized the problem. That went. Now it is, oh, Fulanis are the killers and kidnappers. As if there are no ritual practice, uh, ritual, ritualists in your own tribe who are killing people every day. Yes, invading people land. Yes, there's land use law, land use act, and the rest of them. Let us now bring all those things to bear. Okay, you want to? It's a singular issue now. People invading land, occupying land illegally. Yeah, treat it now. It's a simple matter now. Don't ethnicize it. That is the point. What is rather painful? What is rather painful? Hmm, is that? We have, I don't want to use the word disaster, a precedent. Hmm? We have a precedent who allowed the sanctity of the office to be so denigrated. Because it is the failure of government that resulted in all these reactionary practices now. If federal government or the state government has failed in its duty to protect lives and properties, you give people license to resort to self-defense. And it is justified by every reasonable means that will I allow myself to be killed when the state government has turned deaf ear for so long? Exactly. So that said, those of you who are saying uh, the kind of arresting is too strong, ha. Huh? When the Nambekanu first came back to Nigeria and he was wearing his white robe, people were worshipping him. In fact, I even saw a video of him going to his shrine. Was it a shrine or something like that? You know, I thought he was already fortified and nothing can shake him. Excuse me, Baba, don't move now. He don't move with the go reorganized from abroad. So if you are saying, if you are saying somebody is is uh, is indomitable, cannot be conquered, can ah uh, ah uh, ijoba. See, God, if you think he has juju, government also has juju people that is sponsor. And they have juju people to plus military might. Fuck Google. Can you everybody please see that fuck Google that is saying I'm supporting Fulani? Is that what this point is about? Is that what this point is about? This, this is a class issue. There's the place of the law and there's a place of morality. Mm? The people who are in power, who are supposed to use the instrumentality of law for justice, failed. They used the law. They failed on the part of law. They heard on the part of law. It then become morally responsible for people themselves to rise. That was what Sunday Boho did. When those who are in position of law failed, those who have the moral conscience rose to the occasion. Yeah, I know now. Governor Sheima Kinde, chief security officer of the state, failed to do what he was supposed to do. Sunday ago felt morally obliged to rise to the occasion. If you say I'm wrong on Fulani, you should educate me. But all I know is that the oppression in the Southwest mm, is not caused by Fulanis. The oppression is 1960 in the Southwest, eh, where few people gather themselves and are making all the money and are impoverishing the rest of the people. I see people doing it. Ah, let's go to Songo now. Let's go to Georgiou. No, go to Ifo, go to Ilepa, go to all those, go to Aton. In fact, stay here in Lagos, go to even like even your lucky. See the people there, see the way they are using people to do labor liberal work. And they pay them how much. You think it is full and it that cost that? Oh, you think it is me eighty you think me eighty alarm means full and people? The people who invest into that cow business, person who is defending and saying we are the cows. Tell me we are the cows, it's not the cow issue. What do you think the person is protecting? Investment, bro. It's not a full and issue. Who is going front and back? The point is very clear. It's a class issue. It's not a tribe issue. 
there are Igbo people who are who are who, who invest heavily into this cow business. Okay, there are Igbo people mm, who are patrons of the cow. Go and check now. You think there are no Igbo investors in the cow business? There are many of them. There are Yoruba people who also invest heavily into cow business. There are many of them. So when you hear the word "miyetial" and you ethnicize it, you are wrong. You are wrong. It's not. A, it's not a tribe issue at all. At any rate, I think. Let me just read all of you who are still ethnicizing the issue. I just hope that. Uh, I'm not rooting for Shore. Shore is not in the contest. I'm only saying, stop making it look as if uh, Shore is a coward. Shore stayed where you ran away. Okay, so he's trying. Yes, I'm talking nonsense. But when the matter, when the chips are down, mm, when the chips, especially those of you are abroad, <laughs> those of you are abroad, when the chips are down, make sure you don't leave this man alone. Okay, because now so now push Shore so they can live on. Okay, I'm awful. Like <laughs> no, Allah, no problem. You will understand as events unfold. I'm still speaking in proverbs and prophecy. Mm. I'm not about one Nigeria, I'm also interested in Odudua Republic, just in case you know. But what I'm saying is, look deeper. It's not, it's not the tribe that is the issue, look, just look deeper. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, nobody push away. <laughs> All right, gentlemen and ladies. Okay, I'll 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 be monitoring. I'll be I'll be observing. I'll be following up. Hmm? Okay, it will not make sense now, but it will make later. Shagun is a traitor. Hey, oh girl. Comments are rushing. They should, I'm, I'm not praying for them to understand now, but they will understand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if I am kidnapped, kidnapping has been long existing before this full issue started now. Evans was a kidnapper. And I'm not defending kidnapping for any reason. So, I'm not agitating for one Nigeria. You are still missing it. I'm saying look deeper. That the problem is among your own people, it's not about the tribe. God bless you. I build news about justice. There's no justice. So if you like tribalize the issue. Yeah, I know, I know I'm talking nonsense. And forget Shore about this. Leave Shore out of it. Talk to me. I will, I have never lived in the north, so I'm not going back to any north. My mind is still close. Okay. My mind is not close to. I'm against insecurity under whatever guys. And I'm not against Sunday Igbo. I'm only advising that it must be protected now so that um, it must be protected now so that the, the demand does not change from um, demand does not change from uh, that the government should live up to security responsibility to free Sunday Ibu because we've been there many times. Free this person, free that person, and they distract us from the issue. Okay. <laughs> Full animals go to free Sunday. 
Um, I agree with you that all uh, illegal, all illegal settlers who are causing tension in any land must be dislodged, because it is very wrong. For me, it is very wrong that the presidency will be breaking people's investments, liquor investment in the north. East Bar police will be breaking bottles in the north and saying people cannot invest in in um, uh, people cannot invest in beer business in the north. People cannot invest in pig business in the north. Okay, but then that the people, the same people, uh, must tolerate uh, people killing people in the in their own region. Like you cannot do piggy business in the in the in the north. You cannot do business of beer in the north. East Bar police will come after you, jail you, beat you, destroy your investments. And the same people are saying that cattle rearers are allowed to go into the southwest and continue to maim the hosts. That is very wrong. So it is the government that is responsible for all these things. Mm -hmm. There's no justice. That is why we are... So all these things you are, are, you are seeing, they are just reactions to the injustice created by government. So but for you to now begin to ethnicize it, it will be misguided. Mm, the, the struggle will be misguided that way. Anyways, I know that some people will not understand. Perhaps some people join late, okay? At the same time, some people, it is their sentiment that they have been carrying for so long that they are using to listen. So I understand they will not understand it immediately. But with time, you will get it. You will get it. Shegun is PDP. Ah, ah. There's nothing you have not accused me of. <laughs> you have accused me of being Fulani. You have accused me of being APC. You have accused me of being Shore. You have also accused me of being Fulani. Now you're accusing me of being PDP. <laughs> All because you don't like anything that clashes with your ego. <laughs> you don't like something that is not sweet to your hearing. Anyway, uh, truth, is, truth is bitter. <laughs> uh, at any rate, I think I should leave it at this point, and uh, we're going to see later. What, are, what am I sitting on? I'm sitting on the chair. <laughs> are you, where, where are you living? Are you living in, the, in Nigeria or abroad? Between you and me, who is <laughs> who is an alien? I'm in Babalao. Can you imagine? <laughs> this is amusing. At any rate, um, I I like to read your I like to read your objective comment. Objective comment. Hmm? Objective comment, not just sentiment. Uh, you are a disgrace. You are a disappointment. All those things we have passed that stage. You are not contributing. Those people who are not contributing anything to the struggle. They just come and say anything. So, I want to read intellectual, intellectual input, not just. Mm. Anyways. Maybe people should just watch it over again, listen again, mm? and then let us know whether we, we want to continue to push ethnic tension or solve the problem of bad governance, across, regardless of where, where any religion, any region you are from or any religion you belong to or any tribe you belong to or any gender. Mm. Baba T, we went to the same secondary school as you, and you know that I failed you, Ruba. <laughs> uh, somebody said, what I like about Shegun is whatever you say always comes to pass. Oh. Mm. That's why I always tell you. You may not understand it now, but I always like to say it ahead. Uh -huh. So that it will be on record. And I always come back to say, you remember I said this? Uh -huh. Nigeria has no government. God bless your idea, ID, and there's no justice, and that's the point, you know. Otherwise, 
if government if governance is is standard and good who wants to think about whether if not for irresponsible statements made on the platform of the presidency by people like uh, Garba Shew. You know, if Garba Shew had, for instance, or the presidency has, for instance, you know, called these people to take one and say, no, you cannot go into people's settlements and do this, so it's wrong, you can do this, you get proper approval before you can see, and people are complaining, the host community must, instead of saying, you must learn to live, you must learn to live with criminals who are coming to invade, invade your community. What's, who, what sort of statement is that? Those are the inciting comments made by Gary Bashir on the platform of presidency. And that is exactly why we are here. You know, if we have, for instance, done all of these things, we will not be here today. Concerned man say, Shegun, are you a Yoruba man or Ondo Ijo, be sincere? Ondo Ijo. I think I heard people talk this thing before that Shore Shore said he's not Yoruba man. Well, I don't know where that theory came from, you know. But all I know is that my name is Oluwa Shegun. It doesn't sound like a strange language. It's a Yoruba name. I was born and bred in Ogunwan, Lagos State. I grew up here. I'm a Yoruba man. I don't speak any other language that is a jaw. I don't speak anything. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm a Yoruba man. I don't know what you mean by. Although I understand that I'm from SAO, local government in Ondo states, and they usually call that part Ijo Apoi, Apoi Kingdom, Ijo Apoi. <laughs> so and I understand that we share riverine or coastal link with Bayosa and the rest of them. Uh -huh. I mean, water link with Bayosa. So they call all those regions Ijo. Uh -huh. But I know the language of those people, and I know my own language. So I think there are different Ijo. I think there's Ijo Isekiri, Ijo Arubu, Ijo. My own is Ijo Apoi, mm -hmm. which is the SL do extract of the Ondo states in the southwest. So wherever you came up with the region that wherever is from Ondo states, it's automatically an Ijo and not a Yoruba. You will have to explain where you got that history from. <laughs> you have to explain it. Because I don't understand. So SLO do go hand SLO do co and do, do. <laughs> Ah, I like these people. Shelgun is bankrolling you. Ah. Bankrolling. Am I rich? Do I have money? I'm not. I'm not inspecting project in Cross River State, so that question is not for me. You know who that question is meant for? The short fuse man. It's not. It's not for me. I'm not a rich man. A poor man. So what? Where does the question of bankrolling come from? Anyways, I guess um, I be a man again. I know you are from Nsunka. <laughs> I don't look Yoruba. Okay. It's fine. But those of you that look Yoruba, that wear a badder and wear your cap. Uh -uh. The major bank college just wedded daughter of Benue State Governor, Abi. Uh -huh. Ajimobi's son wedded daughter of Ganduji, the Gandola politician, Abi. Uh -huh. Those of you that look Yoruba, how far? You better stop this. If it's a class issue, it's not the tribe issue. You, you know they hear what do. You know, anyway, you know, I quit and you cannot talk too much. Uh, let me leave it here and then let me leave you with the song the latest by my party Larry Safari titled Ojoro my name is Shegolo once again follow us on objective media continue to give objectives and you don't have to like them but they are objective okay bye for now I love you all yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. on the talk this generation Yes, I'm uh -huh. Anybody when you try anything to disappoint your life, 
in the same place we could they try anything to take your wife oh, 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 oh. but even when you try anything good to change your life the same person we could they stop you from back on which night oh, 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 oh. them still hold me down yes oh yes oh yes oh. delay all of us oh, oh. And they do, oh do, 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 do. they don't they don't hold me down hey, my they do, oh, he don't do, oh, 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 now the same person we go they give you money and take your life oh, 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 oh. Them still hold me down Yes oh, yes oh, yes oh.